Hello, happy holidays to you all. I'm Genevieve Jacobs, Group Editor at Region Media and the Riot Act. And everyone here joins in wishing you a Merry Christmas and a wonderful festive season as our weekly newsletter drops into your inboxes. It is that time of year when the focus shifts to family and fun, gatherings, holidays and festivities. Good time to remember though that it's not that way for everyone. And we've got a fantastic story from Detective Sergeant John Giles from the ACT Police and his charity Kids in Care because of course Christmas can be a really tough time for people who are under severe financial pressure and feeling pretty vulnerable. So thanks to Detective Sergeant Giles, every kid in the ACT in crisis and emergency care will receive a Christmas present. He has been absolutely blown away by the generosity of the community in making that possible. And I think that's one of the things that we can be very proud of ourselves here in Canberra. That generous community spirit is going to make some kids have a much better time than they might otherwise. Not so much though with regard to the Federal Government's decision to strip St Vincent de Paul for the ACT in southern New South Wales region of 25% of their emergency funding. Vinnie's raises $2 million a year themselves, which they give away through their shops and donations, and the emergency funding goes to people who are in really desperate need. Usually that's with regard to the rent, their power bills, to even being able to put food on the table. In a bit of a pea and thimble game, the federal government says that there's no change to emergency funding at all. It's just been distributed differently among a variety of charities across the region. And uh, they've said that, uh, that there's no difference in all in what they're prepared to give. Um, it was all a competitive tender process anyway. Monica locals are angry about an enormous listed plane tree that's getting in the way of a local development and there are plans to cut that one down. And uh, differences too at the show. Uh, we reported to you a couple of weeks ago about declining attendances and the show's new strategy was dropping its prices. But now they've announced a show within a show, probably within a show. <laughs> Farewell to the Dagwood Dogs. I think they'll actually still be around. It's show biz all the way. Did you see what I did there? <laughs> We've got plenty of ideas for you about how you can do everything from spending the festive season, local events, how to pick cherries, where to buy seafood, how to get great hampers, how to celebrate safely. And on that, it looks to be a really hot Christmas day. So hot or cold Christmas dinner for you? Is it hot with all the trimmings because that's tradition and that's what we need and all expect or maybe platter of seafood straight into the pool? Uh, tell us what you think on our poll on the site. Have a wonderful time. Riot Act and Region Media will be right with you through the festive season and we're really looking forward to sharing 2019 with you. Happy Christmas everyone!